Welcome, my friends. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm Jen Hillman, and I invite you to roll out your mat and follow along with me in this replay of my live yoga summer series. In today's practice, we are gonna be working some great stretches to relieve tension in the neck, shoulders, and upper back in the context of a full body flow. So go ahead and like this video, leave your comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And when you're all set, go ahead and roll out your mat and let's get ready to flow. Let's just start in a nice, easy seat, settling in for a moment of grounding as we begin our practice. So set yourself up for success, grab any props that you need, sit on a cushion or a blanket if that helps you to feel more comfortable. And let's take these first few moments of our practice to just turn your attention inward. Begin to let the distractions of your day, the distractions of your mind begin to fall into the background. So what becomes present in the moment and present in your mind is your breath. The seat where you sit. And begin paying attention to the sensations that you feel in your body. Noticing the sounds around you, the temperature on your skin, and the feeling of your bum and your legs as they sit on your mat feeling of your hands as they rest onto your lap. Give yourself this time. Slow down your mind. Focus your attention on what you perceive in this present moment. Feeling your breath as it moves in and out. Feeling your chest and your belly rise and fall with each breath. Before we do anything else, let your heart be filled with a feeling of gratitude. Just thanking yourself for showing up on your mat today, for taking this time for yourself. And let your heart feel full. And we'll slowly begin to roll your head in some nice, easy circles. It doesn't matter which direction you go. You just want to move nice and slow. Feeling into the stretch as you gently roll your head around. Feeling 360 degrees of movement. And when you're ready, you can begin to reverse directions, finding your own natural flow, beginning to roll your head the other way, and just notice the changes. What sensations do you feel? And 
And gently let your chin fall down towards your chest, folding your head forward. Keep sitting up tall in your spine, a nice lift. And just allowing the head to fold forward. Let your shoulders relax here. Breathe into that gentle, subtle stretch at the back of your neck. Then we'll circle your hands to the back of your head. Allow the weight of your arms to gently, just with the, with the gentle pull of gravity, just allowing the weight of your arms to relax down towards the floor. So you're not pushing on your head but just allowing the weight of your arms and hands to give you a little extra stretch. Feeling into the back of the neck here. And we're going to incorporate just a subtle movement. Gently begin to turn your chin from right to left only a few degrees of movement. This isn't a big movement. It's subtle. But as you turn your chin from side to side, you'll feel the stretch behind your neck also moving from right to left. And if you find that you come across a particular area that feels really good to stretch, go ahead and give yourself an opportunity to hang out there. Stay with that stretch just a little bit longer. And then we'll slowly begin to make your way back to center. Keeping your hands where they are, we're going to slowly roll your head back up to center and then open your elbows wide apart. Really stretch those elbows apart as wide as you can. Take a deep breath in as you lift up through the crown of your head. And then exhale and begin to press your head back into your hands. Just a nice gentle press. Keep stretching your elbows wide apart as you gently lift your heart, lift your gaze. And slowly make your way back to center. You can relax your hands down to your lap and let's just roll your shoulders around a few times making some nice circles there. And then you can reverse directions, rolling your shoulders the opposite direction, starting to get some movement, some mobility into the tops of the shoulders. Ah, then relaxing your shoulders down, we're gonna do a great exercise coordinated with your breath. As you inhale, nice big breath in, you're gonna shrug your shoulders up to your ears as high as you can. Then on the exhale, we drop. <sighs> yeah. Inhale, lift. <sighs> squeeze, 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 and release. <sighs> Again, inhale, squeeze, lift. <sighs> release. <sighs> Do two more times. Inhale, squeeze, and lift. <sighs> exhale, release. <sighs> One more. Squeeze and lift and release <sighs> feels good now we're going to bounce your shoulders up and down bounce 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 should feel pretty good a little silly that's fun bouncing the shoulders up and down up and down for five four three two one release and shake out your arms and hands so we're just sending all the energy down through your elbows, your wrists, your hands, and all the way out through your fingertips. Shake, 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 shake it out. <sighs> and just release your hands down onto your lap, palms facing up. You should feel a little bit of tingle in your palms, a little tingle in your hands. So we're feeling that discharge of excess energy that was stored in your shoulders is now 
ah, dissipating through the arms, the hands, and the fingertips. That's great. Now tilt your right ear to your right shoulder. Keep the left shoulder anchored down as you gently lean your head to that right side and feel a little opening stretch along the left side of your neck. Then we'll circle your right hand up and over, gently placing your hand to the outside of your head. Again, we're just letting the weight of the right arm give you a little gentle stretch into your neck. So you don't have to push, you don't have to overstretch or you know, go too hardcore here in the beginning of our practice, especially with your neck. You just wanna feel a nice gentle stretch. And then from here, again, you can start to roll your chin down towards the floor Notice how that moves the stretch along the back edge of your neck. You can also play with rolling your chin up and that moves the stretch more towards the front of your neck. And again, this is just a few degrees of movement, right? So just explore. And of course, if you come across a particular area that feels really yummy, let yourself stay there and enjoy the stretch. Take advantage of this moment. And then slowly release your right hand down. And this time we're gonna turn your chin to the right shoulder. So we're still opening up along the left side of your neck. Now we've got a nice rotation, a little twist in the neck. So as you turn your chin over to that right side, keep the left shoulder back so it's not coming around with you. You wanna keep the shoulders open to the front. As you really stretch across your neck. Turn, turn, turn to the right. Good, then roll your chin down through center. And roll your left ear to your left shoulder. It's funny, I noticed this right side of my head, my shoulder is tight. It's like my right shoulder just wants to come along for the ride. You want to keep the shoulders nice and level so it's just the head isolating in the stretch. Breathe into it there. And we'll circle your left hand up and over. Just allowing the weight of your left arm to increase your stretch. This is one of the reasons I think it's great to practice in front of a mirror. Sometimes we might feel self-conscious about looking at ourselves and our yoga practice, but it's a wonderful tool to be able to see your own alignment. You might not be able to feel that one shoulder is higher than the other. But if you can see yourself in your practice, it can really help you to fine tune your alignment. Then we can incorporate a little bit of movement here as things start to open up, turning your chin down, turning your chin up. And again, just let it be a personal journey taking whatever degrees of movement feel good for your neck in this stretch. You can move as slow as you like, take as much time as you need. If it feels really, really good, just hang out there, breathe into the sensation until you feel a release. We'll slowly release your left hand down and rotate your chin towards that left shoulder. So looking, 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 looking over to that left side. Again, we wanna keep the chest, the shoulders open towards the front. As you rotate that gaze around, get a nice stretch again along the right side of the neck here. Breathing into the stretch. 
Then slowly rotate your chin back down to center. We're coming back to neutral. Take a moment here, chin to chest, feeling into the back of your neck as you stretch. And we'll slowly unroll your spine, gently stacking one vertebrae on top of the other until your head comes up to center. Then just using your hands, we're gonna reach up to the tops of your shoulders. Just gently knead the muscles at the tops of your shoulders here. So all I'm doing is just using my finger pads here and kind of just working the elbows, right? So I pull my elbows down and that will give me that stretch across the tops and backs of the shoulders there. So it should feel pretty good with minimal effort there. Yeah, feels good. Great work, you guys. Okay, again, we can shake it out. Ah, releasing any excess energy through the shoulders, through the arms, let it go through the hands. Ah, and just relax your hands down. Feel the difference from when you first sat down on your mat, right? The neck, the shoulders feel a lot more open, a lot more circulation, a lot more flow. So from here, we're going to bring your fingertips up onto your shoulders. Nice and easy here. We're going to work some twists. So as you inhale, you'll twist to the left, then exhale and twist to the right. Then you'll get some momentum going. So the breath starts to pick up. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So this is definitely a faster breath than normal, finding a sense of grounding through your seat as you work the mobility through your ribs, the thoracic spine, and you can play with keeping your head to the front versus letting your head move in the twist with you. There's no right or wrong, just let yourself find what feels good. Inhale, exhale, inhale left, exhale right. Five, four, three, two, one. Inhale big, circle your arms up. Hold your breath at the top, reach, reach, reach up. Retain the breath, reach and grow a little taller. Take in a little more inhale. Good, then exhale, circle your arms down like two floating feathers. And then interlace your hands at the base of your spine. So we'll squeeze the palms of your hands together, gently rolling your shoulders onto your back. Begin to slowly reach your fists away from your hips, giving you a nice heart opening here. Roll your shoulders back, lift your heart to the sky as you lean your head back and open through the front of your throat. Nice big stretch, feels really good. And we'll slowly release, coming back to center, bring your hands back onto your lap, take a full round of breath all the way in and all the way out. <sighs> Great. We're going to do a, another little exercise here in our seat. We're going to do a seated cat and cow. We're going to, again, pick up the pace of the breath like we did when we were twisting. So a little faster than normal in our cat and cows. So we're holding on to your knees here. We'll inhale to lift your heart. Exhale to round your spine. <sighs> inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, right? So we're really working a nice fluidity in the movement. Working a little bit faster breath than you normally would, or really wanting to move the energy all the way up and down the spine. Five, four, three, 
five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, release, come back to center. Inhale to the top of your breath. Retain the breath, hold it there. Lift your belly up and in as you retain your breath. Then exhale all the way. <sighs> Let it go. That's great work, you guys. All right, we're gonna transition now to tabletop position. We're gonna just make your way to your hands and knees. I'm gonna get into a little bit more heart and chest opening here. So from your tabletop position, let's just go ahead and walk your hands out in front of you, making your way down into a little puppy pose, reaching your arms long, try to straighten through your elbows, keeping your knees uh, your hips stacked over your knees, right? So you have some stability and support in your legs as you allow your heart to slowly soften down, down, down towards the earth. You can bring your forehead down onto the mat. If you want a little more juice, you can lift your chin to the mat and just notice how that opens up the stretch a little more for you. But definitely work within your own safety limits. Whatever feels good and right to your body is exactly what you should do. Take another full round of breath all the way in and all the way out. As you exhale, see if you can soften just a little bit deeper into the stretch. Then slowly begin to press yourself back up, making your way back into your tabletop position. From here, we're gonna twist, opening your right fingertips to the sky. Take a nice, big, deep breath in as you really work into that open heart twist. Then we'll exhale and gently weave your right arm under, bringing that right shoulder all the way down to the floor and relaxing your head down as well. Now use your left hand. You're gonna press your left hand into the mat and roll your left shoulder back. So we're pressing into a deeper rotation allowing you to get more spiral in your spine. Then reach those right fingertips a little further across, taking you into a nice big stretch behind that right shoulder blade. See if you can still find a deep breath, even in this twist. And at the end of your exhale, we're going to unwind. Nice deep breath in as you lift and open your right fingertips all the way back up to the sky. A full unwind. Then exhale slowly as you release the right hand down. So we're coming back to center. And on your next inhale, we're going to open it up, reaching the left fingertips high. Nice, big, deep breath as you stretch and twist your heart open. Then exhale and gently weave the left arm under. Making your way into a twist on the other side, we bring the head and the shoulder all the way down to the floor. Then use that right hand. So push your right hand into the mat so you get a little leverage to roll your right shoulder deeper into the twist. Nice deep rotation there. Now you might even have a little bit more room to stretch those left fingertips a little further to the right side. Wherever you are, just find your best twist, your best stretch. Let it really come to life for you. And when you're ready, we'll begin to unwind 
Nice big deep breath as you open left fingertips all the way back up to the sky. Nice twist and open. Oh, then exhale and slowly release, bringing that left hand back down to the mat. Beautiful work. Just take a moment to stretch out your spine. You can do cat and cow or any movement that feels good to you. This is a little free form, free moment. Ah, using your breath, just let your spine stretch in any way it wants to. Feeling liberated and free. Good work. Now, you're going to sit your hips down onto your heels. This next pose is called rabbit pose. And this is a really powerful stretch for lengthening the entire back body from the neck all the way down the length of your spine. So from this kneeling position, you're going to reach down with your hands and grab onto the bottoms of your heels. So you really want to get a nice good grip and hold on to your heels there. Then tuck your chin to your chest. You're going to bring the top of your head down onto your mat. So you're tucked in like a little turtle shell, holding onto your heels, chin to chest, and the crown of your head on the floor. From this position, this is how we prepare. Now we're going to lift your hips away from your heels. Keep holding on to your heels with your hands. And that's what's going to help you get into the stretch. Get a nice grip holding on to those heels as you lift your hips. Keep tucking your chin in until you feel that stretch down the entire length of your spine. Nice deep stretch along the neck the thoracic, the low back, stretch, and slowly release your hips back down to your heels. You can bring your hands to the mat and gently press yourself up to kneeling. Yes. Now we're going to go ahead and come up high, lifting your hips off your heels, and I recommend curling your toes under, just giving you a little more strength and stability in the legs here. We're going to work a camel pose, a little heart opening. So I'm going to give you a couple of options, okay? If your back is tight, back bending is not your thing, it's cool. You can bring your hands to your heart, thumbs to chest, just hug your shoulder blades on your back and gently lift your heart and chest. So this is like phase one simple camel pose preparation, okay? For those of us that want to go a little deeper, you can bring your hands to your hips, gliding your thumbs towards your sacrum. We want to point your elbows towards the back. So you squeeze your shoulder blades together. Then draw your shoulders down your back as you gently lift your heart and your chest, right? So this is Phase two, gentle camel. Rolling the shoulders back, pointing your elbows back, lifting your heart and your gaze. And of course, phase three, if we want to get deeper, deeper, you can reach those hands down to your heels. But still, we're hugging the shoulders together, lifting through your heart and chest, and gently opening through the front of your throat. Take one more moment, enjoying this heart open, and we'll slowly release back to center. Then let's move into that downward facing dog. Planting your hands intentionally on your mat, spread the fingertips wide as you curl your toes under and begin to press your hips up. Now we haven't done much to wake up the legs yet. So let's just pedal out your feet, gently walking your dog, feeling into the backs of your calves, the backs of your knees, maybe feeling that stretch into the hamstrings. So just taking your time here, 
gently pedaling out the feet. Try and keep an open heart and an open chest. So we're really feeling that full body awakening. Now we're going to continue just working into the legs a little bit. Simple exercise from here. You're going to slowly, one step at a time, start to walk your feet forward towards the front of your mat. Stepping up to a forward fold. And then we're going to gently walk your feet back. Walking back to your downward facing dog. Walk it back. Pedal out your feet a little bit here, right and left, left and right. And then again, we're gonna walk your feet forward, back to that forward fold. So yes, this is very easy, relatively, right? This is just a very simple exercise, but it is allowing us to open up the legs at varying angles. After your forward fold, we're going to walk it back, walking back to your down dog. You might try taking a really, really wide down dog, walking your feet back even further than you normally would, pedaling out the feet, just stretching into the legs. And then we're going to take one more cycle. So in your own time, walk your feet back to that forward fold. You can take as many or as few steps as you want, but notice that with each step closer to the top of your mat, the stretch changes. You feel different parts of the muscles awakening. Breathe into that forward fold. And then you can begin to walk your feet back again. Walking back. This time we're going to come into that nice downward facing dog, just settling into your pose. Take a full round of breath all the way in and all the way out. Noticing how you feel. Good work. Now shift your weight forward into your hands. We're shifting into a nice plank pose. Make sure you have plenty of space between your hands and your feet so you can really have a true plank pose. Then lift your belly button up towards your spine and lift your head, right? Your head is heavy, so it's gonna weigh you down. So we wanna lift up your head, push into the mat and lift away from the earth. Nice, strong, plank pose. Beautiful. Lower your knees to the mat, come up to kneeling, interlace your hands, and roll your wrists around. Little figure eights with the wrist, then we get weird with it and roll the other way. <laughs> That's nice and awkward. Perfect. <laughs> Great, then we're coming back to our plank pose. You can shake it out and make your way back to that nice strong plank pose, lifting the knees, toning through the strength of your legs. Then I want you to shift your heart forward towards the front edge of your mat. Then you can lower your knees down. We're gonna do three chaturanga push-ups. Are you ready? Inhale, lift your heart, lift your head. Exhale, bend into your elbows, lower only halfway. Then inhale and lift. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, lift. Oh yes, one more, just three. Exhale, bend, hover, and release. Bring your tummy to the floor. Good job. Now bring your forearms onto the mat. Forearms down, palms flat. Draw your elbows towards your hips. We're gonna lift your heart and chest, working into that sphinx pose. So your shoulders will be aligned over your elbows as you draw your chest forward. Think about gliding your chest 
through your arms. So we really feel the upper back, the upper chest engaged in this stretch. Then interlace your hands in front of you. Curl your toes under. We're gonna press into dolphin pose. So you can lift your hips up, and then I like to take a little step forward. So you can bring your hips up, up, up a little higher. Now from here, think about bringing your chest to your knees. So you open your chest and shoulders. This is really gonna take the stretch just right into the shoulder joint. It's very juicy. So reach your heart towards your knees, Say yes to the stretch. Then lift your gaze forward towards your hands. Inhale, shifting your heart over your thumbs. Keep your core strong and toned. Then exhale and reach your hips up and back. Heart reaching towards your knees. Inhale, reach it forward. Heart over the thumbs. Strong core, strong legs. Then exhale and press it back. Inhale, heart forward. Exhale, hips back. Beautiful work. Go ahead and lower your knees down. We're gonna come back onto your belly. This time bringing your hands flat to the floor alongside your chest. Turn the tops of your feet to the mat, pressing the tops of your feet down into the earth. Hug your elbows, your arms, alongside your ribs. And then roll your shoulder blades up and back, hugging the tips of your shoulders down your back. Spread your fingertips wide, strong arms, strong hands. As you inhale your breath, Curl your heart up away from the mat. Nice, strong heart opener. Beautiful cobra pose. Feel the muscles in your back just toning, strengthening as you peel your heart up away from the earth. Beautiful. Gently release and press yourself back to a child's pose. Hips to heels. Feel your spine as it stretches and really reach your arms out in front of you so you feel a little stretch into the shoulders. Take some deep breaths, breathing into the back body. All right, friends, let's come into tabletop from here. From this tabletop position, I'm gonna have you reach your right leg up and back, toning the strength of that right leg. Lift your belly up and in. We wanna resist gravity, tighten and tone. Then inhale, lift your heel. Nice big stretch, lift your heart. Then exhale and draw that knee forward, scooping your belly in, round your spine. See if you can tap your forehead to your knee. Then we'll inhale and lift it up and back. Nice big stretch, good. Then exhale, draw your knee to your chest, round your spine, tap your forehead to your knee, maybe. One more time, let's inhale, lift. Nice big stretch here, should feel pretty good. Then we'll exhale, curl it in, draw it into center, nice big squeeze. This time, see if you can draw that right knee all the way forward and step down into a lunge. Now, this is not like proposing, okay, like a bunch of 90 degree angles. We're gonna widen out your lunge. So you can have a nice 90 degree angle at the front knee, but you want an open angle at the front of your left hip. Now, with your left hand down on the mat, bring your right hand to your knee Press into that right knee and let's work a nice rotation. Spiral in the spine. Then from here, you're gonna bring your left elbow onto your le uh, right knee. So left elbow to the right knee. Yep, you got it. Okay, 
Now bring your right hand on top of the left hand, prayer hands. Now push into your hands and rotate your heart towards your thumbs. Deep twist here. This is a great stretch into the uh, rhomboids behind your shoulder blades and a great detox for the spine and for the uh, core. Yep, beautiful work. You can stay right here. Third option, open it up, bringing the left fingertips down to the outside of your right hand, opening those right fingertips to the sky. So you take it where you wanna be. Beautiful work. All right, we're gonna come back to center, bringing both hands down, step the right hand to the inside of your right foot, then rotate your left knee 90 degrees on your mat. I'm gonna to flip to the other side so you guys can see what's going on. So you're gonna open your hips towards that left side and walk your hands about 45 degrees off the side of your mat. Now, this, uh, it, you know, it's an awkward shape, but it should feel pretty awesome. You wanna keep your right knee aligned over the right ankle. And then reach, reach, reach out through those fingertips so you feel a wonderful stretch along the inner hips and thighs. Then you could even work on stretching your hips back towards that left heel to open up the hips even further. Good work, my friends. Slowly walk your hands back in. Then walk your left hand to the back edge of your mat. Sweep the right arm up and over as you stretch your right knee straight. We're taking a full body stretch in that stargazer pose. Stretch from your fingertips to your toe tips, feeling the whole right side body open. Beautiful work. Slowly start to walk yourself around to the front. Coming back towards your lunge, you can rotate that left knee back to its place. Then glide your hips back, extending the right leg. And just gently fold forward here. Nice stretch into the hamstrings. Take a few deep breaths as you allow yourself to soften. Let your head fold forward. Let your heart fold down. Stretch, stretch, stretch into that right leg. Good. Then inhale and lift your heart halfway up. We're going to open your right fingertips to the sky here. IT band. Yes, yes, yes. Breathe into the stretch, allow for the opening, feel your way through it. Good, then softly release the right hand down. You can just sneak that right knee back to your tabletop. Yes, beautiful work. All right, let's practice that second side. Opening it up there, we're gonna extend your left leg straight and back, nice and strong. Lifting your core, let's inhale and extend your heel and your heart up towards the sky. Nice big breath in, then exhale, curl it in, hugging your belly strong as you round through your spine, tap your knee to your forehead, then inhale and open it up. Big breath in, stretch the front body and exhale, curl it in. <sighs> Inhale and lift. Exhale and squeeze it in. <sighs> Good, this time we're working our way to the lunge. Stepping your left foot forward. And if you need to, you can kind of scooch the right knee back a little bit. So you just set yourself up in a really nice, beautiful lunge. And then bring your left hand to your left knee. Press into that left leg to work your way into a nice deep rotation. 
Beautiful spiral in the spine. Twist, twist, twist. Then we'll take it a step deeper by bringing your right elbow onto the left knee. Then bring that left hand on top of the right hand. Then we push into the hands to rotate your heart towards your thumbs. Yes, getting a beautiful rotation in the spine. You can stay like this or open it up, reaching the right fingertips to the floor. You stretch your right left fingertips high, just finding your best variation of this twist. Then slowly release back to center. We're gonna bring the left hand to the inside of your left foot. Then rotate your right knee 90 degrees, opening your hips towards that right side. Then walk your hands gently 45 degrees off to that right edge of your mat. <sighs> Again, we wanna work on keeping the left knee stacking over your left ankle. Mostly so it doesn't roll in towards center, right? We want to keep the hips rotating open as you melt your heart towards the floor. Then you can get a little more juice by simultaneously reaching your hips towards that right heel. So just see what comes alive for you in the stretch. Breathe into it one juicy deep breath at a time. Then slowly walk your hands in. Press yourself up and we're gonna bring your right hand to the back edge of your mat. Sweep your left arm up and over, stretching through your fingertips, through your toe tips. Full body stretch and that star gazer really opening it up for three, two, and one. Then gently make your way back around to the front, just walking yourself back around. Rotate your right knee back to position, and then glide that left knee to your tabletop. Now, Bring your big toes to touch and separate your knees towards the edges of your mat. Then sink your hips to your heels, taking a nice wide child's pose. So think about letting your rib cage nestle down between your thighs. Breathe slow and deep as you soften into this pose. Feeling that deep compression into your hip socket. Feeling a wonderful softening through your shoulders and your back body. Ah, one nice deep breath at a time. Take one more full round of breath, all the way in and all the way out. Go ahead and slowly slide forward onto your tummy. Then just roll yourself over onto your back. Draw your right knee up to your chest. Give yourself a little squeeze here, really hugging that right knee in. Then slowly begin to draw your right knee all the way over to the left side. So you're working your way into a twist. Do your best to bring the right knee all the way down to the floor if you can. Then opening that right arm off to the right side, you'll begin to access a gentle stretch across the right side of your chest. 
So we're simultaneously getting a stretch into the spine as you work the twist and a stretch into your chest as you open the right arm off to the side. Give yourself about three more good deep breaths here. See how deeply you can breathe, even in a twist. And then we'll slowly make your way back to center, hugging that right knee in towards your chest. Good. And extend your right leg out in front of you, and we're going to draw the left knee up and in. And I just remembered, guys, we didn't do our half split and our revolved half split on the left side. So, huh, we've got to fix it. <laughs> so reach down with your left hand, grab a hold of your left foot, and begin to kick that left heel up towards the sky. Yeah, so we're just going to add in a little stretch here so you get that hamstring in the left leg, right? So we're just doing a new, different variation of a hamstring stretch, kicking out through that left leg. We don't want it to feel left out left out. <laughs> now, take your right hand, grab a hold of the outer edge of the left foot, and just slowly begin to draw your left foot across your midline, across your body. You want to keep your hips down on the floor. We're not just flopping or like twisting the hips over. You just want to cross your left foot towards your right shoulder enough that you start to get that IT band, right? So again, we don't want it to feel left out. We want everything to be included. Stretching into the left hand side. Whew. Good, good, good. Now you can bend into the left knee and go ahead and glide into that twist, drawing your left knee all the way down to the floor as best you can. Then opening your left arm to the side, we begin to access a little stretch across the left pec. And see if you can still find some deep, satisfying breath, even in the twist. Finding your best stretch. slowly begin to unwind, making your way back to center. Let's just give that left leg one more good loving squeeze. Then extend your leg down to the end of your mat. Take a moment to let yourself get settled, relaxed, and comfortable on your mat. Let your feet fall open to the sides. So you feel that deep sense of relaxation in your legs and in your hips. Let your belly rise and fall with your breath. Let your arms and hands relax as your fingertips gently curl in. Relax your neck and your throat and your jaw and your whole face.
Just feel yourself completely relax and let go on your mat. While you settle into this relaxation pose, I'm going to play you some sound bowl to help clear your mind and guide you deeper into your relaxation. Take a nice, big, deep breath all the way in. And exhale that breath all the way out. And slowly begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Rolling your wrists and your ankles around. You can roll your head from side to side. And reach your arms overhead, taking a nice big stretch. And then slowly roll yourself to one side. Press yourself up, a nice easy seat. Coming back to the space where we first began, just notice the changes. Notice what's different. Again, 
Let your heart be filled with so much gratitude for yourself, for showing up, for this practice that transforms us. And then let us give thanks for this virtual space where we can come together and practice from all around the world and share in this journey together. Thank you for allowing me to be your guide. I wish you a most beautiful Monday. I hope that this is kicking off a really wonderful week for you. Thanks so much for being here. And I look forward to seeing you in the next time. Namaste.